If you don't know how to carbonate drinks, you're definitely missing out on one of the most valuable bartending tips you'll ever learn. Stay tuned. What's up guys, Sam James, barprince.co, and in this video we're gonna be talking about how to carbonate drinks properly using a soda siphon bottle. Now if you're new to the channel and you're looking for the best advice in all things bartending and cocktail, don't forget to hit the subscribe button down here, and don't forget to click the notification bell to make sure you never miss a new video when it comes out. Now this time around we're doing things a little bit differently. I'm actually gonna be taking an excerpt from one of the lessons in my Mixology Mastery online course, and give you a glimpse inside of the program. The program teaches you everything you need to know on how to make cocktails at home. So for more information on that, just go ahead and click the link in the description once you're done watching this video. Hey guys, and in this lesson, we're gonna be talking about carbonation. Now, carbonation is important for you to learn because it gives you yet one more tool in your arsenal. It is a fun way to put an interesting spin on something that typically would not be served carbonated and that allows you to have that one extra piece of ammunition as far as shock and awe, as far as providing something to wow your guests that other people typically won't do. Now, if you don't learn about carbonation, then you'll miss out on everything I said. You miss out on a great way to really wow people. And it's also a very practical, it's a very practical technique to learn in case you start really getting into making some of your own ingredients, your own seltzers, tinctures, things like that. So one of the things that you want to understand when it comes to carbonation is there, there are three things actually that you really need to keep in mind. The first of which is clarity, transparency. Carbonation works best when it is done with transparent liquids and to take it a step further, or even to back up, I should say, carbonation is essentially when you dissolve CO2 gas in the liquid. Now, the reason why, for example, a juice, an opaque juice, like an orange juice or something like that, makes for poor carbonation is that the carbon dioxide bubbles will attach itself to the pulp and the other particles in the juice and essentially create an escape hatch for the gas to come out. So in essence, your carbonated drink won't hold the carbonation very long when there is an opaque ingredient in there. The next thing you gotta consider is the temperature. The colder the liquid is, the better it will carbonate and the better it will hold that gas. And last but not least is time. For example, once you've carbonated your cocktail, or your drink or your water or whatever the case is, it's best to leave it in the fridge for two to six hours. That way you get the best of both worlds in terms of temperature and in terms of time. Now, just for our demonstration purposes, we're gonna go ahead and carbonate some water. I filtered some water, I'm gonna show you how to carbonate. There are tons of ways to carbonate, um, different rigs and a bunch of expensive equipment that you probably don't wanna get into. The most cost effective way is to get yourself a, so a soda siphon. Now all you're gonna do is just open up your soda siphon. And here is a guiding piece in here to show you not to over pour into your siphon. You, you don't wanna pour past the max line of the siphon. And we'll get into that right now. This is filtered water, like I said. Go ahead and fill your siphon up. You just wanna go up to the line where the water is, the max line. Stick your rod back in there. Go ahead. Sorry about that. <laughs> Tighten the spout, then go ahead and expose the valve that you put your CO2 in. Grab a CO2 charger. Just go ahead and give it a charge. Now, 
you may find that it says for you to charge it only once. I like to give it a double charge just to make sure I've gotten it exactly the way I want it. There we go. Go ahead and cap it and then stick it in your fridge for two to six hours. And with a little bit of movie magic, we're gonna show you how it looks after. All right guys, this is actually not two and a half hours later or six hours later, this is actually a day after. We got this and we're ready to go. It's been sitting in the fridge for overnight. Give your lever a quick press. And you can see a nice, perfectly carbonated seltzer right there. And that's how to carbonate drinks in a nutshell. Now with these principles, you'll be able to carbonate water at home, carbonate wine, make a merit of carbonated cocktails, all by foregoing an expensive carbonating drink machine and going with a more affordable soda siphon bottle. Trust me, having a soda siphon glass for bartending at home will take your skills from simply knowing how to bartend to knowing how to make drinks that completely sweep your guests off their feet. Now, if you're looking for products to help you upgrade your bar skills and take them to the next level, go ahead and head over to barprints.co and check out our Mixology Mastery course. It's the perfect bartending for beginners course covering all aspects of bartender training with carefully curated bartending videos which clearly and easily explain different bartending tricks, bartending basics, and of course, bartending tools. Finally, if you found this video helpful, and I hope you have, please give it a like, share it with your friends. And for more bartending videos and more great advice, don't forget to check out these videos right here. Thanks a lot for joining me, and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.